Hey, what's up, Reefers? 2017 has been an extremely amazing year, and I am really, really thankful. In 2017, I attended my first saltwater convention. I met a lot of Reefers as well as YouTubers, so it's great to put a face to the name. In 2017, I also met a lot of really generous local Reefers whom I am proud to call friends. In 2017, I traveled to Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Philippines, and I had an amazing time. And I know I still owe you guys footage from Philippines, and wait till you see what I got in store. In 2017, I learned more about video editing and how YouTube works. And a lot of these help come from CJ's Aquariums, Infamous Aquatics, Reef Dudes, and Aaron's Aquariums, among other people. And with their help, we were able to grow this channel from just under 2,000 subscribers last year of this time to almost 12,000 right now. I'm super thankful to have all of you guys on board as we are getting ready for a new tank build, which I'll get a little bit more into at the end of this video. This year, we also got to Instagram and we made connection with almost 6,000 people. And through Instagram, I was able to share a lot of short stories on quick updates on the reef tank or just funny happenings in my life. If you're not following me already, be sure to follow at Inappropriate Reefer on Instagram. Lastly, a really big shout out to Sally aka Miss Average Reefer. Without her, a lot of things would not have happened. Now, we are still in the process of trying to convince her to start her own YouTube channel. To help us, be sure to follow her at Miss Average Reefer on Instagram and let her know what you think. Alright Reefers, since this is the last video of the year, I want to share with you guys three YouTube channels that I've been following for a long time and these are special. And right after that, I'm going to tell you guys about this new tank build that I have going on right now. This tank build is really ambitious. I'm kind of iffy about it, but it's going to be a fun journey and I want to take you guys all along with me. So I'll be right back. What's up, Reef Squad? I want to thank Inappropriate Reefer for allowing me, Reef Spy, to invite you over to my channel and check out what I have to offer. On my channel, you will find updates on my 180 gallon reef and information on everything it takes to keep this tank running. You will also see updates on my other tanks, the backyard goldfish pond, and even a new poison dart frog vivariums, which I'm currently building. But the fun doesn't stop there. I also do regular unboxings, reviews, how-tos, DIYs, or basically anything else related to this hobby, which I think you will find interesting. So come on over and check it out. I'm sure you'll find something you like, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. Hi everyone, Dutch Reefer here. I have been asked by Inappropriate Reefer to make a short video on my tank to promote my channel in one of his shoutout videos. So here it is. I'm going to give you a quick overview of my tank. Um, and of course you can also find more videos in my, on my own YouTube channel on which I will be covering a couple of things. Uh, my fish, my corals and of course the technical part of the aquarium, the sump, the lighting and everything that's involved with it. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of what my tank looks like. And if you're interested, please feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All right, shopping for nano tank takes us to strange places. We are now at Michael's, which I really like as well. I know exactly where I'm going. So I've been eyeballing one of these guys for a while. Uh, one of these large mason jars. All right, Reefers, you may be wondering, why is inappropriate Reefers and Michael shopping for a glass container? Well, let me back up and share a little story with you. So the legend goes, a couple of weeks ago, DC Reefers got into it with Joey Vera, and they decided to go into a bed trying to make the best nano reef tank. But somehow it kind of snowballed and got into something huge that involved a lot of YouTubers and just people in general that we hang out with online. And this was the birth of the Rico's Nano Tank Challenge of 2018. Basically the rule is that it has to be 25 gallon or less for the nano division or 10 gallon and less for the Pico division. So I was going to a couple local fish stores trying to find the right tank. I have a concept in mind that requires a column tank. Unfortunately, I could not find one and I could not get a custom one built in time. I happened to do Michael's and then inspiration struck me. Let's go check it out. <laughs> 
All right, so guys, this is the tank that I have decided to go with for Rico's Nano Tank Challenge. Um, I'm guessing it's probably a little, a little bit under a gallon, if even that. Maybe, maybe 1.5 actually. I don't know. I'm gonna measure it when I get home. Uh, but the guys and girls and Michael's are awesome. Um, just a lot of fun to hang out with, and they even gave me a nice discount on the way out. So really appreciate it. And you guys watching, thank you. Now before we go any further, you may be wondering. Well, why is this called a Rico's Nano Tank Challenge? Who is this Rico character? Well, Rico is actually um, a host of a lot of reef aquarium live stream that has been going on every single day. Uh, usually we get like 40, 50 people just kind of like chiming in or listening in. So he is a really popular guy in this reefing uh, community and he is super knowledgeable and he brings people together. Well, it's not me trying to sell him. I'll let him do it himself. Make sure you're listening. <laughs> Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. What's going on, reefing community? First off, I'd just like to say thank you to Inappropriate Reefer for wanting to spotlight my channel. So, what is my channel about? My channel is about bringing a group of people together to form a reefing community. We all share so much in common when it comes to reef tanks. So how can I bring people together and keep people together? Lots of live streams. That's why they call me the live stream king. I do so many live streams to keep people in contact with one another, to share information, to share their experiences, um, the pros, the cons, all the above when it comes to reef keeping. Reef keeping is one of those passions that um, once you're addicted, you're addicted for life it seems like. But we also have the downside of things and every now and then we all need help. Uh, I wish I had these things back when I started over 20 years ago, but I didn't. So how can I pay it forward? By doing what I'm doing now, making YouTube videos doing lots of live streams, answering people's questions. Those are ways that I can pay it forward. So I just want to say, if you think you'd like to be part of the reefing community and you like to learn, to educate yourself, to see different ways to skin a cat when it comes to reefing, because we all know no two tanks ever run the same. And if you think you'd like to be part of the reefing community, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the notification bell so we can see you on the next live stream. And with that being said, this is Rico of Rico's Reef Tank. Till next time, peace. Now, if you are interested in joining this Nano Tank Challenge as well, I'll have some link below to all the um, informational video as well as the official rule and the last day of entry is January 31st and if you are if you're interested in sponsoring prices or whatnot uh, reach out to some of the guys as well I'm sure they're willing to take on more sponsor at this point uh, we have a great list of prize and great list of sponsor right now but we can have, never have too many right all right with that said I hope you guys are enjoying the new year and tonight if you're going out be safe all right don't drink and drive etc etc as you guys are all adults so you know what to do but before you leave make sure you feed your fish and feed your coral all right i'll see you guys in 2018. take care reef squad all right guys sunday night i figure um it's time to move that go torch